legend has it that while the Cathedral of Sevilla was being built, the elders came together and said, Let us build a church so beautiful and so grand that those who see it finished will think we are mad. The building of the cathedral took over a century, but boy, was it worth it. The cathedral is the third largest church in Europe, after St. Peter's and St. Paul's, and the largest Gothic church in the world. Everything is supersized. The tower of the cathedral up here is called Geralda or Giralda, and you cannot leave without climbing the 35 ramps that will show you stunning view of the city. Don't worry, there is plenty of space to get around people when you're going up. In fact, there is enough space to go on a horseback. How do I know that? It's because that's what people used to do. The cathedral stays on a spot where once there was a mosque. The tower is in fact the old minaret that called Muslims in Sevilla to pray five times a day. So one poor soul had to climb up and down five times a day. And it's much easier to do that with a horse carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> what about inside the cathedral? The remains of Christopher Columbus can be found inside the cathedral. Legend has it that Columbus refused to be buried on Spanish soil. The figures are holding his remains up to the ground, so he's technically not buried. General submissions for the cathedral is 9 euros. But here is how you can beat the lines. You have two options. One, purchase your ticket online. And two, first visit Seville's second largest church, the Church of El Salvador. Buy the combined ticket that also allows entrance to the cathedral, enjoy your visit at El Salvador, and then skip the line at the cathedral of those waiting to purchase a ticket since you already got yours. Even if you aren't a history fanatic, it will take at least a few hours to completely explore the cathedral. After all, it has a total area of 124,000 square feet and 80 chapels inside. Definitely don't leave this for the last hour of your trip. If it's your second time in Sevilla or you're looking for a different way to see the cathedral and the city at the same time, try a cathedral rooftop tour. Book it in advance. Hope, they hope, they hope. I'll put it up number 11. There are 35 of those. 35.